Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. In this chapter, we will look at the basics of XML and some of the basic concepts behind the reporting. Let's get started. So our objective is to get the basic terminologies in XML, review the life cycle of a report. Before we get started, all the files used in the chapters all in this chapter available for download. I've uploaded a zip file right below this video. You can download the zip file and uh, and, and extract them. So here you'll see the uh, links to the websites that I provide. Here are some uh, sample XML files uh, which for you to review later on. Let's get moving. So let's start with the uh, basics of XML. XML is extensible markup language. It's very similar to HTML. The main difference you can see between HTML and XML is HTML is designed to display data, where XML is designed to carry or transport data. Here also the here with HTML your tags are predefined. For example, if you want to create a bold, you enter you know you enter the B. If you want to create an anchor, you put an A. It has an ending, but with XML, no tags are predefined. You can have any any tags that you want. So the idea behind XML is to structure, store, and transport information, whereas HTML is designed to display data. Let's look at the anatomy of an XML. So XML has, uh, I would say, four four characteristics. One is it should have a declaration. The other one is the root elements. You can see in this example, there is a catalog root and a book root. Within the root, you have an attribute. The attribute describes the element. So the, the attribute can be for, uh, for any element, but it's primarily used for the uh, root elements. So in this case, I can say a book is my root and uh, book has an ID. Which is an attribute that's an attribute values bk01 right below right in between the begin and end tags of book you can see tags and data elements as you notice the tags are pre they're not predefined you can create any tag as you want so in this example we are using author title you know price and everything so you can see the tags has a begin and end tag and as a as a data element in it. So here is a live example of uh, the one I was explaining. You can see there is a, a root element for catalog, and underneath that there is a root element called book ID book, with an ID as the attribute, and the tags are author, title, and following through description. So a parent root can have multiple childs. So I can have a, a book that's uh, element that's been repeating. And underneath this book, I can have another uh, root elements. There's no restriction on how the data is. So there are certain rules XML uh, plays by. So first thing, is, first thing is all elements should have a closing tag. So if you see here, the first example, I put a username, and there's no end tag. That's a bad example, and the uh, the syntax has to be the same. The same, uh, you know, if if, they, if you use uppercase for n, the beginning tag, the n tag should have the same uppercase. So this is a bad example. If you see here, you can see that the tags have the same font and everything. It's a good example. So you can have a a null element. We can have just the uh, n tag, which is, this is also a good good uh, way of representing the XML. XML elements have to be properly nested, meaning that you you should have, meaning that your, your elements should be properly nested. You should, you know, uh, uh, in this case, the catalog is catalog and a book is inside the catalog. That's a nested element. As we have seen, the XML elements should have attributes or can have attributes. It's not should they can have attributes, but the attributes must be coded, meaning. It should be in this syntax. So um, there are certain uh, res reserved 
characters for XML so for example if, if, you, if you want to use less than in uh, in your uh, data element you have to use ampersand less than uh, you can add comments using uh, the comments block the white say, white space is preserved so if you say um, name is Joe space 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 the do, do name so the name the, the data will be transmitted with the entire spaces before we get into XML schema let's good let's go take a look at a couple of exam live examples so here is our first example I've opened this uh, in a in a notepad um, uh, here here we have the root elements nested root elements or child root elements uh, the attribute um, here is how we define a common you know you specify the uh, the common block and uh, C data would be used to display the, uh, the special characters so we'll look into the C data in later uh, later session so XML schema or XSD defines the structure for an XML document so uh, you can have so we uh, the, you know you can define you can predefine the XML structure in an XXD schema and you can say for example um, element would be ship order type is order the order would be the, the type is here you can see the type order type is a complex order type um, the element names are ship to and if you can see that it's a ship to here type is an ad ship to address it, it refers so it, it, it's it's similar to your array structure within the uh, within the XML uh, from a BI publisher uh, point of view uh, schema doesn't come much into the picture but it's good to know uh, how these uh, schemas work these are the XML schemas are primarily used uh, uh, primarily used for for when you are transporting information uh, from one in one instance to the other using XML or your uh, your you know you have a supplier and a vendor or your supply customer where you are transmitting invoices or, or ship or, or orders in XML for our purpose is primarily um, of no use for, for when it comes to be a publisher so C data is another critical element that I've seen uh, which is useful in BA publisher so C data is unparsed character data so with C data, you can pass any kind of information without the uh, restriction of the uh, of the XML. So for so for this is I mean the main purpose, the main functionality of using C data would be uh, in, in XML Publisher would be to build SQL queries and data templates. We will look into the data templates uh, when we get into the uh, data extraction part. So here is a sample where you have a C data, and I'm, I'm specifying the SQL statement there. Here is another sample of C data where I can specify special characters like ampersand, greater than, or these are primary. These are ignored. Uh, the, the, these are ignored, but these are comments which are which are completely comments and C data are completely different. C data, the data would be still read within the XML. The comments are not transferred over. So there are a couple of free tools that are available. Um, I have provided these uh, links in the uh, Word doc in the, in the text file, so you can see uh, there are some schema generators. You can feel free to play around. So let's get into reports. So many people think reports is the simplest part, but you can have a you know a great product that will store data, but if you don't have a way to access the data manipulate the data or I won't say manipulate you you want access the data and 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 present the data in a readable format the data is of no good so reports the main goal of reports is to extract the data which is residing in the database format it in the way the users want to see deliver it in the right way for example, you know, if some customers want to see the data in a, in a printed form, especially when it comes to a manufacturing industry where uh, you have work orders that need to be printed. Of course, these days you have tablets and everything, but still, uh, I've seen um, 
you know pr printer paper has or printer work orders are much efficient than the uh, the tablet uh, for for executives for example for executives they just need to email it or you know go to a website and pull the data so regardless of it the report consists of you have the data where that's your that's your that's your source you have a program you have an extraction method that will extract the data from the uh, from the database you have a formatting part which would format the data in the right format they want you know it could be xm you know it could be a colored xm excel or it could be a pdf with graphs and 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 you know and stuff and deliver it in the right format so a report consists of data extraction formatting delivery presentation So these are the these are the element these are the uh, these are the main uh, components of a report. So the components of a report are data, data extraction, data formatting and presentation of uh, presentation, uh, presentation medium, the frequency of generating. Do you want to generate daily or every ten minutes, and delivery means. So a life cycle of a report it starts with the uh, user group. So it, it can be for any, you know, it can be for information purpose, can be for uh, measuring impact, uh, business criticality. So a business analyst starts with the business analyst, it will gather the requirements, the format and data elements are finalized, delivery format and method is finalized. A frequency of generation is determined. Developer then designs the report uh, with the analyst, the extraction, process will be completed or extraction process pro, extraction process is uh, defined tested and is migrated for user testing so once it's approved by the user we migrate to the prod so report comes in different shapes and sizes you know these days report you know is is a heat map you know a regular tabular format it can be a check of course um, it can be a, a key performance indicators so report comes in all different types and shapes so XML Publisher is a powerful tool that would provide you with all those features. So it would it can extract the data from any data source. In our example, we'll be primarily using the Oracle database. You can have once data is extracted, you can format it in any way using the templates. So once the data is formatted, you can present in any any output format. It can be a PDF, HTML, Excel. And it can be delivered to the right destination. So the the XML publisher can takes the data. You know the main the one great thing about it with the XML publisher is you have the same data, and you can deliver it in multiple channels. It can be for in a bank, it's an ETF, EFT, EFT, HTML for PD or CEO PDF. So our, uh, so this topic we reviewed the XML. We looked at the various uh, various reports that can be generated in, X, in XML. We were we just simply touched uh, the basics of of the reporting. The main goal was to see and feel how the uh, how the XML looks like it and how it how it can be used in the coming chapters. So. Uh, Thank you. Th thanks again. I'll continue to look forward to seeing you in the next uh, videos.